What's going on YouTube? My name is Zakia. Thank you for clicking on to my channel. I'm new here, so I really appreciate you for clicking on to the video. I'm all about lifestyle, fitness, and anything else that you guys may request later down the line. But I don't want to make this intro way too long, so grab some food, grab a drink, and let's get right into this video. <laughs> so let's get into it with these box squats I love this exercise because as you can see it has that thing thing in um, it is a really good glute exercise to incorporate into your lower body routine so um, yeah this is definitely a good one so when you do these I want you to sit down on the bench or the chair don't just tap it but sit and then drive through your heels and your midfoot a lot of people just tap it and I really don't understand what the point of that is you might as well just do a squat so just take your time and also incorporate progressive overload you want to increase your weights every week by five to ten pounds because you're aiming to get stronger all right so next up we have these reverse lunges i have a love-hate relationship with these just like the bulgarian split squat so if you know you know but what you want to do is use that back foot as support and balance, but your main foot is that front foot. And you're going to push off with your heel because you do want to feel it in your glute. This is a compound movement, so you will feel some in your quads and maybe your calves, but mainly you want to feel that in your glute. And then with these barbell RDLs, they are so tricky. Um, if you don't hinge at your hip, you will hurt your back, and I have experienced that. So you see how I'm pushing back with my hips um, and then standing up that is how you prevent any back injury or any back pain so you slowly just push back and if you have a long resistance band just put it around your waist and tie it to something and use that as a guide of where to hinge at the hips and just take your time and make sure you feel these in your hamstrings and some of your glutes Alright, so we've made it to the last exercise. I love, love, love cable kickbacks. They are the best. Um, but when you do do these kickbacks, you want to make sure that your lower back is not arching because that does cause lower back pain and I have experienced that as well. So see how I'm kicking back when my whole entire back is flat? That's what you want to make sure you're doing. All right, so now for breakfast. You know you gotta make sure you get some protein in for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So with me, I am not a fan of eggs. So this is my go-to for protein. Um, I do love these Kodiak cakes, they're the best. Uh, my favorite is the cinnamon oat, but right now I am using the buttermilk flavor. Um, and as you can see, I am measuring the put uh, powder out because that is what I need to do right now um, I am reverse dieting so at the moment I am increasing my calories slowly over time um, that way I could just boost my metabolism but there's more information about that on my Instagram page if you want to know how that's going for me I do have a highlight and then here I'm adding the bananas and strawberries as well this does help me to stay full on top of the pancakes and the pork bacon that I'm making um, and if you haven't been using the George Foreman grill for your 
bacon please do so now it is a game changer it's less messier and it is quicker but I'm gonna let y'all continue to watch this video and watch how this comes out it's super simple it's super easy and if I could do it I know you could do it see that breakfast that looks so good and it was good but yeah as simple as that pancakes protein pancakes fruit and bacon and you got a bunch of protein for the first meal of the day Alright, so for lunch, we are cooking up some chicken quesadillas. This meal is so simple and so quick to do. Um, it doesn't take that long at all. I, these are one of the, my go-to meals that I use and I love it. Um, so yeah, we're going to add some Flavor God seasoning. Flavor God is a great company of different seasonings. They even have something called cinnamon, cinnamon something. And I use that for my oatmeal um, but what I like about their seasonings is that it doesn't have um, salt in it even though I'm adding the seasoned salt because you know we need a little some some on our meal but if you don't feel like something really needs salt maybe you're cooking pork or something like that and you just want some flavor flavor God is a good company to go to um, but these are typically the same seasonings I do use on most of my uh, meats like chicken protein beef uh pork fish all of that shrimp um so yeah this is my concoction that i typically use i don't always use seasoned salt i try to stay away from that and use himalayan salt um but this is pretty much the day-to-day -day seasonings and then we're going to add in some bell peppers. I love red bell peppers. I don't really use yellow or orange, but I mainly stick with red and green. And we're going to saute those up until they soften up just a little bit. I do like a little crunch. It's, you know, up to your, it's your preference of how you like your bell peppers. And then once we finish with sauteing those, we'll just add the chicken in there so it can cook together. And of course the chicken will soft, or I'm sorry, the bell peppers will soften up as well. My fault for the arm in the way. I did not realize until I started watching this video. And I was like, dang, your whole arm is in front of the camera. That don't make no sense. But yeah, just, just, uh, and then we got the chicken 
fully done pretty much. And we're gonna work that in until it is fully done. And you know what? I'm gonna just let you guys watch the rest of the video. It's self-explanatory, so. All right, so we are almost done with this quesadilla. Um, I just wanted to jump on because I didn't realize how long I was off camera. But right here, I'm actually trying to separate the tortillas because they're so soft. So I had to peel them off or separate them slowly so that they wouldn't rip. And you see right there how it, it got ripped. But I probably should have threw these in the refrigerator um but they were freshly from the the store so i had them out on the table just like the rest of the bread but yeah let's get back into the rest of this video oh this is a technique i don't know if anybody else does this but this is so helpful when you flip the quesadilla onto the plate and then that way you can just put it back into the pan because I don't, nothing else works for me. So this is definitely the best go-to technique for flipping your quesadilla back into the pan. All right. It's me again. I noticed that I was away from the camera again. I gotta do better with this editing. It's my first one, so y'all just bear with me. But I went to go get some salsa to add to the plate and didn't realize how long I took. I did speed this up, but it just seemed like I was off camera way too long. But here we go with the salsa and the sour cream. I use light sour cream. I really don't need to, but you know, you be just trying to save some calories. Um, but yeah, I don't count the salsa, it's not really much, but I do count the, uh, sour cream though, but yeah, so, voila, this is the chicken quesadilla, super simple, super quick, and we're gonna get into this next dinner meal. Alright, last and final meal of the day. I am making turkey burgers with roasted potatoes. Um, I'm using the Bloom Gold potatoes. 
um because you can get more for your for your bang honestly and when i say that i mean calories wise like you can get a good portion of those potatoes for um a good amount of calories so i love these are like a really a go-to for me um but i like to season these up with garlic salt and maybe some italian seasoning I don't think I had any Italian seasoning left, so I just used regular garlic salt. And then I took the butter spray. Instead of trying to melt some butter, which is even more calories, I'd rather use the butter spray. And just to give it some flavor. Um, let's see, there we go. The butter flavored Good and Gather. Had good old butter spray with some garlic salt. And this makes it easier and it's faster too. Um, like I said, you don't have to worry about those calories being added to the meal. So it's going to save you some. So, you know, if you want to have a little snack later on in the evening, you can save that. Oh, speaking of snacks, I forgot to add my snacks to this um, video. But I do go, I try to go for some protein snacks like some Greek yogurt, Chobani Greek yogurt, and also the Alani New Bars, um, protein bars. Those are definitely a go-to for me. So here we add in these potatoes to the Ninja Foodie. Again, my arm is in the way, which makes no sense, but we're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna add this to the Ninja Foodie. I have it on roast. And I think I put these on for 15 minutes, but that's pretty much all it needs, 15 minutes. And then those will be done. But I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video. all right so we are finished this burger and we're just gonna add these potatoes on this plate and that is it those are the three simple meals that you can make and that don't take not they don't take no time um but i want to thank you if you lasted this long for watching this video i appreciate it 
Um, my socials will be in the description box. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And just let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Bye.